What's the difference between cross helical gears and bevel gears? Like the cross helical gears that I mentioned in my last video, bevel gears are also perpendicular gears, but they're way better in high strength and high torque applications. The main restriction to bevel gears is the axes of the gears have to intersect at a point. And that's one of the main advantages of these cross helical gears. The axes don't intersect at all. And that's something I didn't really mention in my last video. And that gives you a ton of design freedom. But like most things in engineering, there's no free lunch. And the cost is that these gears aren't very efficient. They create a lot of friction. And as a result, they're not great in high speed or high torque applications, which is why you'll see bevel gears in a car differential and not cross helical gears. And one final thing, many people thought when I said that I created a proof of concept for these gears in my last video that I think that I invented these things. I don't think I invented these things. This stuff has been around for hundreds of years. My job as a mechanical engineer is to take these tools, these mechanical principles and adopt them for the applications that I'm working on. In my case is normally kinetic art.